Hey, this is Mike Durr, Kingwood Mortgage Guy, and I um, wanted to go over something that, what I'm finding is a lot of people recently have been contacting me about doing a cash out refinance, and one of the things that I wanted to get across is that the rules changed in January of 2018, and so a lot of people don't understand them. A lot of people that tried to do cash out refinance in the past weren't able to. Now, with the rule changes, they will be able to do them. Uh, so they're a lot better than they were in the past. They're still not consistent with what they are in the other states and that border us and the rest of the United States, but they're better than they were. And so I applaud the uh, Congress and state legislators uh, that were able to make this change for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the uh, Texas Cash Out Refinance, the new rules. I'm going to try to make this quick. And so the next uh, screen I'm hoping is that you're seeing my information. Uh, this is a way to get in touch with me. Uh, what I'd like to do, obviously, I'm not going to be able to go over every question that you have today, so I'd like you to call me. So that would be uh, the way to reach me right here. And then let's just go into it. Here's what we're going to cover today. Uh, definitions of a Texas cash out. Uh, what can I use the money for? How much equity can I borrow? Uh, how often can you do a cash out refi? And then are these rules for my primary residence only? Uh, can I refinance to a regular loan after? That was one of the big improvements. And then we're going to talk about the key changes. So I'm going to try to get through that. That's a lot of information. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I possibly can. So a quick definition of a Texas cash out. A Texas cash out home equity loan is a refinance where you take equity out of your home in the form of cash. So uh, usually what people do is they'll go to the closing table. When we close, they give the closer a copy of a voided out check, and on the uh, after the fourth day or the we pass the three days of rescission, the uh, money from the closing goes directly into your checking account, and it is spendable at that time. Uh, text, these funds can be used for anything. I mean, uh, I, I will tell you that the one I'm doing right now. Uh, the people are actually buying another property with the money that they are uh, borrowing from their primary, and there's some valid reasons to do that. I've had people uh, consolidate debt is one that a lot of people do. I've had people pay college uh, student loans off. I've had uh, people go to uh, La Cushada and gamble with their money. Uh, of course, uh, repairs and maintenance are a common one. Uh, just a lot of things that you can do. Uh, buy another real estate, I think I mentioned that. So really, there's just a lot of options when uh, you get this money because it's your money to do with what you want. Now, does it have to be wise? Well, I would encourage you to do something wise with this money, but you don't have to. It's your money, your equity. So how much equity can you borrow? The uh, Texas allows you to borrow up to 80% of the appraised value on your primary residence. And an example we're going to use is let's just say that your house is worth $200,000. You owe $120,000 on that home. Uh, the maximum loan is 80% of the value, the appraised value, with $200,000. That would be a $160,000 loan. With that $160,000, what would happen is the $120,000 underlying lien would be paid off, and all the money, less any of the closing costs, would come back to you in the form of cash or a check or just uh, dropped into your account. So you'd have $40,000 worth of equity. That would go less any closing costs that we have. Most people don't pay the closing costs. They roll their closing costs in. And so it's just a, a good program to do that way. All right. Uh, is it time to refinance? Well, I think it's a little late, to be honest with you. Uh, I put a video out about a year ago saying that the time is right to refinance now, and rates were still pretty darn good at that time. Since then, this last six, seven months, uh, rates have gone up pretty dramatically. The bad news, and, and that is bad news, but the even worse news is they're going to continue to go up. So if you were considering doing that in the past, it's, it's better to do it today than it probably will be in three to six months or, or a year. Uh, the prediction that I heard was, that uh, by the end of this year, rates will be, for 30-year fixed financing, will be in the 5% range. And in 2019, they expect it to be in the 5.5% range. Now, today, we're sitting in the fours, 
and uh, we're close to we're sneaking up and of course it depends on your credit score what kind of rate you're going to get but the better your credit scores the better your rate that's the way it works and today we're still in the force so yeah it's a good time let's see okay so this this slide says is it time to refinance well can I refinance after I do a cash out yes you can you can refinance back to our original rate and term mortgage after 12 months so what it used to be is when you did a cash out refinance your your loan was considered to always be a cash out and there were certain negative repercussions of that and so what one of the corrections is that um, now after 12 months you can actually do all the things you could do before just like it was a rate and term when you did the financing yeah as long as you're not getting cash out that was the key and you can still roll in closing costs so that's all those are all things that you want to do and then let's see so how long does it take the loan process to take it's just like a regular loan the only thing there's a 12 day waiting period from the time that you do the application till the when you can close but that's usually there, there's that much time in there anyway so that really doesn't detract from any extra time and then after you close there is a three-day ride of rescission so you can expect the loan process to take somewhere between 30 and 40 days and so from the time you initiate to the day that you get your money it's it's between 35 and 40 days that's what I would tell you um, 12 day waiting I talked about those two things and what were the key changes in 2018 well uh, the cash out now can be done on a property that has an agricultural exemption for some reason they used to uh, uh, not allow a cash out on a property that had an ag exemption uh, the thing I said before once a cash out always a cash out rule that that's been rescinded so that's good here's one that I think is important there's a now a 2% limit on fees it used to be 3% limit limit <laughs> limit uh, with the exception now they do it a 2% with the exception of the appraisal the title insurance and appraisal and survey so what that does it used to be that you could not do or I couldn't do a cash out refinance on a property that was much less than a hundred and forty four thousand dollar loan which eliminated a lot of people that had smaller mortgages just because the the way the limits on the fees were it, it cost me money to do it so and there just weren't a lot of people that would do it the banks probably were the only ones that would do it um, now more people are going to be able to do a cash out refinance just because the, the fee structure even though they lowered the fees for the consumer they've made it easier for us to pay some of the other expenses out of that so now more people are going to be able to qualify for a cash out refi and um, obviously if you'd like to find out if you qualify or if this is something that you can do uh, obviously I'd love that you'd call me so that's it um, hopefully what this has done is, is uh, spurred some questions that you might have and uh, I'd love to talk to you about doing a uh, Texas cash out refi of course in the state of Texas I am licensed we can do this all over uh, Texas so uh, call me from anywhere and we'd love to help you again my number is here on the screen so talk to you soon this is Mike Durr